Power has priority scheduling for 10 equipped flex classrooms located in Wallenberg and Hume. These rooms are designed for instructors who wish to teach using collaborative activities and technology tools. Each of these classrooms features two front screens and five collaboration stations connected by a local area network. Currently, the classrooms feature Apple computers or Mac minis in the front podium and collaboration stations. All furnishings are mobile and can be reconfigured easily on the fly. Most classrooms are suitable for course enrollments of up to 20 students. Almost all power classrooms are equipped with a smart panel, which includes a DVD and Blu-ray player, projection system and screen, and a VGA connection. The smart panel is an all-in-one classroom unit that controls power, volume, and four types of media sources, VGA, built-in computer, DVI, and DVD. The two inputs you will more commonly use are VGA and computer. Note that some classrooms may feature a slightly older model of the smart panel, but the basic functions remain the same. The rooms have two interactive touchscreen displays for whole classroom sharing. These displays can be additionally used as interactive whiteboards. Each display can be individually controlled by using either the left or right control panel located above the ports. To turn on the system, press the on button under power on the control panel. This powers the smart panel itself, the projector, and the sound system. At the end of class, remember to turn off the system by pressing the off button on both control panels. To use the built-in Mac Mini featuring a suite of useful graphics, audio, and video applications, select which screen you would like to use and press the computer input button on the corresponding control panel. Double check that the power has been turned on first. The Mac Mini desktop should now appear on the display. Use the wireless keyboard in front of the classroom to communicate with the screen. If both screens are turned on, you can use the same keyboard to navigate both displays. To switch screens, simply touch the screen you want to jump to and the cursor will appear on the other side. If you have audio, press the audio button and adjust the volume levels using the up and down buttons. The volume level is graphically indicated by the LED lights. To connect your own or a student's laptop, you will first need to obtain the appropriate cables. For Macs, you will need both a VGA cable and a Mac adapter. Connect these cables together as shown. The VGA cable has a VGA head and an audio jack on each end. Plug in one end to your laptop and the other to the smart panel. After setting up the physical connections, Select which screen you would like to use and press the VGA input button on the left or right control panel. Double check that the power has been turned on first. Wait a couple of seconds and your laptop screen should now appear on the display. If you have audio, press the audio button and adjust the volume levels using the up and down buttons. There are two USB ports located next to the VGA port. Before student presentations, you can allow students to use a wireless clicker. Insert the receiver into one of these USB ports to activate the clicker. Interested in annotating any open file or application on the desktop or recording your class session as a video or audio file, Ink2Go is an extremely simple yet powerful screen annotation and recording software that is already installed on almost all the classroom Mac minis. To use this application, click on the Ink2Go icon. A toolbar with multiple functions will appear. To use this screen as a whiteboard, click the new page icon to create a new blank page for annotations. To annotate a file or page from a website, click the pen or highlighter tool and write directly on the screen using the interactive pen or your finger. You can check out the Mac user guide for more info on these tools. To save your annotations as a screenshot, click the floppy disk icon to convert it to a ping file. If you experience any tech interruptions during class time, you should call tech support at Wallenberg and leave a message if the call is not answered right away. You can also call or email your ATS as a second option. Someone will arrive to help you within a short time.